Hello, my dear students. Today I have a grammar lesson for you. Let's see what it is. Yes, it's passive voice. Today I'm going to discuss passive voice simple present tense with you all. Here we go. My first topic is what is the passive voice? Since we are at the beginning, it is really important to know what is an active voice sentence, what is a passive voice sentence, and especially when to use passive. Let's go through the definition given. A sentence generally begins with the performer or the doer. Doer mean the person who do the action. Then the verb and finally the object. Remember, object can be a thing or a person. Look at this example. Anne throws the ball. Here, Anne is the subject. She is doing the action trying. So, throws is the verb and the ball is the object. Look at this video. Well, here, Anne is highly focused. It means the subject or the person who do the action is given priority. So the most suitable sentence to describe this video is Anne throws the ball. It means this is an active voice sentence. Fine. Now look at our next video. Yes, you can clearly see there are the person who do the action is not shown. Only the object, it means the ball, and the action, trying the ball, are focused. So, can you suggest me a sentence to express this video? Yes, what is it? You can say, the ball is thrown by an. Say the passive sentence again. The ball is thrown by an. If we begin the sentence with the object or the person that the action is performed on, we formulate a passive sentence. Here we put emphasis on object and the action rather than the doer. It doesn't matter who is doing the action. That's why we say in a passive sentence, priority is not given to the doer. Object is highly focused. Well, my dear students, now you can understand how important it is to identify subject, verb and object in a given sentence. So, I'll take few minutes to show you how to analyze a simple sentence. Let's take another sentence. Mother writes a letter. Who is doing the action? Mother, correct. So, mother is the subject here. The person who do the action is at the beginning of the sentence. It means subject is focused. In that sense, this sentence belongs to active voice. Fine. Then the verb. It's obvious. You can find it easily. What is the verb or what is the action? Writes. Here comes the most vital part identifying the object. As I mentioned earlier, 
object can be a person or a thing on which action is done upon. It is the receiver of the action. If I ask the question, what is the object of a sentence? Some of you would say, object is the last word of a sentence. No, this is not so. It's completely wrong. Don't worry. Don't get confused. In an instance where you feel it is difficult to find the object, ask these questions. On what is the action done? On whom is the action done? The answer you get is the object. So, I am sure now you have the ability to find the object in a sentence. Well, students, now we have reached the main point of today's lesson. That is, how to formulate the passive voice. Don't get afraid. It's just a simple process. You have to follow only five simple steps. So, listen carefully and try to do it with me. The very first sentence is identifying the subject, object and the verb. To make it more easy for you, I have taken our previous sentence. What is it? Mother writes a letter. You already know the main parts. Subject, mother, object, letter and the verb writes. Quickly move to the second one. Look at our next step. It's important. Swap subject with the object and object with subject. It means interchange the places of subject and object of the given sentence. The letter object of the active sentence takes the place of the subject. It comes to the beginning of the passive sentence and the subject mother goes back. It is given less importance we want to give priority to the letter. That's why I say subject and the object change their places. We have to interchange them. You can understand this easily with these arrows. Now, we have interchanged the places of subject and object. Our next step is to convert the main verb into third form. Third form means past participle. You all can remember the different forms of a verb. Can you? Just tell them. Write, wrote, written and writing. So, can we use wrote here? No, because it is the past tense. It is not the third form. Then third form of the verb write is written. Therefore, insert the verb written between the subject and object. Now our sentence is a letter written mother. Does it give sense? No. Still we have two missing words. Keep in mind, irrespective of the tense of the given sentence, you should always use the third form of the verb in passive sentence.
Well, now we have changed the main verb into past participle form. Now our fourth step is adding a proper helping verb. In passive, helping verb plays a main role. It's very important as well as the object. Because in passive, we use past participle form of the main verb in each and every tense. So it's the helping verb that express the tense. If it is am is a, it is present tense. And if the helping verb is was or were, it's past tense. And if the helping verb is will, that is future tense. Like that it goes on. But at the moment we are talking about simple present tense. So there are three helping verbs or three supporters to be used in present tense passive. What are they? Am, is, are. So select one of these according to singular form plural form. Here it is a letter. So I have to select is as the helping verb. Then how to keep the verb? Past participle along with the helping verb. So is plus written. So what is our passive sentence? A letter is written mother. Still something is missing. That is the last step. Just Add the preposition by with the to a mother. In a passive sentence, by phrase is called the agent. You may write the sentence without by phrase even. So it's not wrong. Here we have formulated our passive sentence. A letter is written by mother. Say the sentence again. A letter is written by mother. If we go to beginning, what is the active voice sentence? Mother writes a letter. So what is the passive voice sentence? A letter is written by mother. Say it again. A letter is written by mother. If you are familiar with the basic rules to follow when formulating a passive sentence, it is not a difficult task to convert any statement, a question or a command into passive voice. Here I have shown you a diagram for you to remember the steps easily. Look at this. First, identify. Second, swap subject and the object. Third, convert the verb into third form, mean past participle. Next, selecting a helping verb. Finally, add by phrase and that's all. Fine, these are really simple steps. Here I have explained them in detail. Hope you will try your best to understand this and apply them when you formulate passive sentences. Another point is, you have to use your knowledge of pronouns. When we interchange the places of subject and object, and if a pronoun is occupied, you have to change the form of the pronoun. As I have shown here, 
I become me. He becomes him. She becomes her. We, us and they, them. As an example, I help her. In this sentence, you can find two pronouns. I as the subject, her as the object. So when we interchange the places, her becomes she, I becomes me. Our passive sentence is, she is helped by me. So dear students, before winding up my session, I have given you some tips to remember in passive voice. First one, no change in the given tense. Well, this is important. You are not allowed to change the given tense of the active sentence. If the active sentence is in present tense, passive should be in present tense. And if it's past tense, Active voice sentence, definitely passive should be in past tense and you have to use helping verbs was and were. So, please stick to the given tense, right? Then, no change in the meaning. Hope you can understand this. If I say it like this, a letter is written by mother. This is our passive sentence. But still, if I ask the question, who is doing the action or who has done the action? Still, it's mother. Only thing is, we have given less importance to the doer, yet no change in meaning. Hope you got it. Finally, look at our last point. If there's no object, that sentence cannot be changed into passive. It means no object means no passive. Look at this sentence. If someone gives you this sentence and asks, please tell me what is the passive of this? She cries loudly. The very first thing when a sentence is given, you should check whether there is an object. So here, can you get an answer for this question? What cries loudly? No, we can't form that type of question. On whom is the action done? No, it means there's no object. No object means no passive. So I have explained basic rules of passive voice and here is a worksheet for you and I'm going to discuss few sentences with you all okay. So first one go to the sentence she delivers the letter. Now quickly apply our five steps one by one. First identify verb, subject and object. Remember check the tense of the given sentence. So how are you going to decide the tense? It is through the verb. What is the verb? Delivers. It belongs to present tense. So the sentence is in simple present tense. Keep the passive sentence in the same tense. Then, then who delivers? Then who delivers letters? It is she. She is the subject. On what is the action is done? Letter. That is the object. Right. Now second step. Interchange the places. It means the letter comes first. And the subject she goes to the end. And she turns into her. That is the pronoun change. 
then convert verb into third form delivers what is the past participle delivered the passive verb base is delivered because the letter it is in singular form finally add by phrase so the answer is the letter is delivered by her hope you can understand it okay next one i make kites in the same way kites is made by me third one my brother does his homework every day what is the object what does he do homework so homework is it singular plural yes homework it's always in singular form homework is done by my brother fourth one rohan helps raju with his projects well this is little bit tricky one be careful when identifying object right on whom is the action done is it on raju or the project definitely raju is the object raju is helped by rohan with his project even you can write the sentence raju is helped by rohan that's enough last one someone gives me a note every day now look at this sentence carefully what is the object here there there is a person and thing both in object position so you can choose either either one to formulate passive so the first answer you can write i am given a note by someone or the other way a note is given to me by someone every day well students we have come to the end of the lesson and that's all for today so do more exercises and practice this well because you have to learn passive voice past tense and future tense in your grade bye for now have a nice day